Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to enter a breath alcohol result performed by you or someone in your organization. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the Secure Sign-In button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. To enter a breath alcohol result, click on the results menu in the list of menu options available at the left. If your user account has permissions enabled, you will see a number of tabs at the top of the page. Click the Enter Alcohol tab to begin the process of entering a breath alcohol result. If you do not see the Enter Alcohol tab at the top of the page and need access to this function, please contact your organization's system administrator to be provided access. The Personal Information section contains a list of all of the required and optional donor identifying fields. Each required field is identified by a red asterisk. The tab key can be used to move from one field to the next. Enter the primary ID. This should be a set of alphanumeric characters that are unique to the donor. In this example, we will use the numbers 1 through 7. Enter the donor first name. In this example, we will use John. Enter the donor last name. In this example, we will use Miller. Enter a primary phone number for the donor. You have the option of selecting whether the phone number is a daytime or an evening contact phone number. Even though the middle name, secondary phone, date of birth, and gender are not required, you may want to use these fields if the information is helpful to you. The Accounts section will display a list of all of the Quest Diagnostics accounts available to you. Only one account may be selected. Select the checkbox next to an account in the Available Accounts list. In this example, we will select the account for the corporate location. The Reason for Test section is where you will select the test reason for this donor from the drop-down list. In this example, we will use Post Accident. The Collector section is where you will enter the name and phone number of the person who performed the breath alcohol test. The name field is required as indicated by the red asterisk. In this example, we will enter Susan Jones. The Results section is where you will enter the details about the breath alcohol test results. The Test Date field can be valued using the calendar or by entering a date in the field. In this example, we will select September 15th from the calendar. The specimen number field is where you will enter the unique identification number of the breath alcohol test result form that was used. In this example, we will enter the numbers 1 through 7. In the screen section, the test time, test ID, and level detail from the testing device is recorded. Any remarks concerning this test can be entered in the remarks box. If the level of the screen exceeds the threshold established by your organization or exceeds the default threshold of 0.02%, a confirm section will be displayed where the confirmation test results can be recorded. In this example, we will enter 0.00 for the screen value. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the page or click the Submit and Enter Another Alcohol Result link to save the result and enter a result for another donor. A banner message will be displayed at the top of the page indicating that the alcohol result was successfully submitted and you will be returned to the dashboard for your organization. The alcohol result you just entered will be displayed in the Drug and Alcohol Results widget on the dashboard and will also be available for viewing on the results page. The Enter Alcohol Result function in ESP allows you to manage your own breath alcohol testing program and record results for viewing in the future. This completes the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial.